Alright, what's going on guys? It's your boy Aggie. Just before this video starts, I wanted to uh, mention that there's going to be a $10 in-name giveaway on this video, so make sure to stay tuned to find out how to enter on that. So as you all can see, we're currently on Kodai right now, so this is just a bit of an intro video for all of you that are uh, new to the server, so let's jump right on into it. A lot of you might be wondering, where the hell are we? Uh, this is actually Edgeville, believe it or not. Um, entirely custom, like... I'm mind blown by the work that they've done into Edgeville alone, so as you can see here's a here's a good old ditch. The classic ditch. Always gotta stay the same. I don't wanna spoil too too much of the home because that's an adventure itself exploring that. But another amazing thing about this server, you may have heard from elsewhere that this server actually uses Runelight. Runelight is completely coded on this server, which blows my mind entirely. It's actually crazy. I never thought a server would actually be able to pull that out and do that. So that's pretty neat, honestly, and it's actually extremely handy. I didn't think it'd be as uh, helpful as I thought it would be, but jumping in, and I've been playing for probably two, three days now myself, it is so much fun and so helpful. I honestly recommend, if you're going to play the server, to use the Runelight client while you're uh, playing because it will help you out in so many little things, whether it be from clue scrolls, because yes, on this server we do have fully coded clue scrolls. It kind of gets annoying, but it's actually a lot of fun and really nostalgic for, for uh, me at least. It helps with things like Slayer, bossing, uh, raids, everything like that, and it's it's amazing. I recommend using the Runelight client any day of the week. So as you can see with the chat currently, um, everybody's spamming all to pest control for fast points for 30 plus a game. Um, that would be in regards skill over here, our community manager, he does constant events for the players, almost, I can't necessarily say how often they happen, but they do. he does constant events for the server and uh, for the players themselves. Um, let's just put this from a, a bit of perspective. Um, normally it's 3 points per game, now it's 30, so that is uh, get your void 10 times faster than normal. Let's just jump over there and show you guys real quick. And something really sweet about the server. Instead of the common teleports around here to get around, everything is used by this wizard Decentor. Yeah. Um, let's just quickly show through these. Uh, this is your training panel. Uh, this will be your bossing panel. You have your Vorcast, Cerberus, Mole, God Wars, Corp, Caliphate Queen, everything like that. Abyssal Sire. Um, all of these are fully coded and fully working, so it's really sweet with that. Uh, and then you have your skilling teleports. Kind of handy. Oops. Uh, and then you have your PKing teleports that I just misclicked on. Your minigame teleports, which is where we're going to be going. All your dungeons, this is mainly used for Slayer for the most part. And I clicked on it again. And then you have your cities. So it's pretty sweet on this side. So we're going to jump over to Pest Control real quick. And miss the boat. Not only on this account, but on my account. So I guess I'll just wait in here with myself. Taking a look at the uh, Void Night Shop, by the way, full Void or full Elite Void is 1650 points. So that is quite a few games if you're on normal points currently. But shout out to Skill for giving us literally times 10 points and times 10 faster Elite Void. All right, so here we are. Void is fully. Co oh, I probably should uh, play on my other account as well, so I don't miss points. Void is fully coded. Everything, well, m for the most part, everything on this server is just like old school RuneScape, and it's freaking sweet. It's pretty much fast old school, in a sense, with a better community. <laughs> um, I've been enjoying this server a lot lately, but as you can see, I hit a zero. Actually, never mind. Uh, you do need a minimum of 50 points to get points in here. Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> um, that's not too, too hard to get, honestly. But it's just to prevent from complete AFK, like I almost am doing on my other account right now. But let's uh, jump out of this real quick. And here we are, 30 pest control points, instead of the normal 3. If you are a donator, by the way, which the winner of this giveaway will unlock, you get 5% more? I don't know, it's 36 per point. 36 per, instead of the regular um, 30. Earlier on in the uh, video, you may have seen some goodies in my bank here. These are 
mainly to donate for you can get all of these in game uh, the tier 3 chests are actually quite rare and along with the chest keys to unlock them themselves but let's jump into this opening for you guys and show you guys what we get from these so instantly you can click examine and it contains tier 3 loot and you can show the loot here so this is just uncommon stuff and then rare stuff and then mega rare is the armadillo hilt so basically on this god wars chest is obviously just god wars items and then the same goes for your zenite chest not too too many different things but you can't really do too much with those then you have your imbued rings you have amulet of Glo or eternal glory and then you have, you have all your zenite items and then same with the dragon chest this just contains dragon items obviously so you have your 2H sword, you got kite shield, you can also get a blowpipe, which is sweet. Um, magic fang, um, you have your pegs, prims, all that stuff. Then you have the warhammer and dragon crossbow on this as well. So let's get into a little bit of an opening for you guys. Here's another amazing thing with these. If you open it, it... Open the damn box. It place it on the floor and it will scroll through just like... Uh, honestly the best thing I can represent this with would be um, playing Nazi zombies back in the day. As you can see it scroll through. Um, it's giving me... Oh, that's unlucky. That's really unlucky. <laughs> it's giving me um, the prices for the items just because I'm on uh, Rune Lake currently. But let's open up another God Wars box, see if we get any, uh, any luck here. Man, I love that interface so much. Ooh, we got shafted again. So we got two D headsets so far. Open the damn box. Let's, come on, guys. Come on. Let's open up one more. See, I'm calling a Sarah set now. Oh, Bandos. Even worse. <laughs> so there we are from the um, God Wars Dungeon ones. Let's jump right into the Zenite ones. Because this is honestly what I was more so looking forward to. Man, I can't look, or I can't say uh, that animation is bad whatsoever. Ah, oh, we got very unlucky. That is literally the only uncommon item at all. <laughs> but jumping back into it. Unlucky again. Come on. Let's give it one more yeet. Don't be an onyx. It's literally all I ask for. Oh, sweet. We got an amulet of eternal glory. That is actually really handy. Because your glory does have charges on this server. And then we have our dragon chests. Open the damn box. Come on, boys. Come on. Let's go for that dragon warhammer. And yes, as you can hear with my uh, clicking, I'm currently doing pest control on my other account because I uh, I need that. Wait, ah, uh, unlucky. <laughs> That's unlucky. I got pranked. So we got two more of these to go. Blowpipe. That's actually pretty sweet. Hmm. I'm happy with that. And for our last one, drum roll. <coughs> Come on, escalators, escalators. Oh shit! Nice! That's actually pretty rare. We got ourselves a dragon plate body. Alright, let's jump into those hard clues. That was the main thing I really wanted to showcase because I don't necessarily like spamming YouTube with the same content because there are a lot of other YouTubers that have done those. But as you guys saw, we do have clue scrolls fully coded on this server, which is honestly pretty fun and very nostalgic. Let's jump into the first one. Um, Bandos Dehyde Boots, that's, uh, that's, that's pretty trash. Next one. Oh, we got a bunch of stuff. More Dehyde Boots. And the next one. Ooh, Rune Cane, that's sweet. That is honestly one of my favorite Fashionscape items. And... 
Whew. And going for the last one. Eat. What? I'm sorry, what? Was that an easy? I'm gonna have to look at that clip back, but I'm pretty sure that was an easy. <laughs> what? <laughs> anyway. But honestly, guys, this server is so much fun. I highly recommend you come and check it out. There's so much things to do from fully coded raids, which actually blows my mind. Um, I've never gotten to that point on Old School RuneScape, and I'm almost quite close to there on here. So that'll be quite fun myself. Um, Fear of Blood, Eater of Blood, will be uh, introduced to the game quite soon. You have your Infernal Capes uh, with the Infernal Run. Unfortunately, well, actually, that's more so fortunate for us. Um, it's not the full 69 waves, it's literally just the last boss fight. That's why you see so many of them, but it is still a challenge. Do not underestimate it. <laughs> but like I said guys, I highly recommend you uh, come check it out, and uh, come say hi to me in game. So, like I promised in the start of this video, there is going to be a $10 giveaway, in-name giveaway, sorry. Um, so that's basically going to be given away to anybody that likes the video, comments their in-game name on Kodai, and uh, has to be subscribed to the channel as well. The winner will be released on the next video, which I already do have plans for. I'm gonna be making another Iron Man series. I have so much fun doing Iron Man, and this server is very, uh, this server is very orientated towards Iron Man. Not necessarily towards them, but it's, uh, it's actually coded properly and done very nicely. So, that'll be all for now, guys. And um, we'll see you in the next episode when we're an iron boy.